But big brothers do not beg little brothers for anything. They either beat him up and take it away by brute force, or they lie to him and trick him out of it somehow. So my brothers said, hey, Kent, do you know how bananas are made? I said, no. I was only six years old. It's been proven in laboratory tests. The brain doesn't even start to grow until kids are 18 to 20. <laughs> how many parents can verify that one from raising kids? <laughs> I, said, I said, no, how are bananas made? And they said, we're down in South America. They have these spiders that live up in the trees. And when they die, all their legs fold up. And then mold begins to grow on the dead spider legs. And a banana is nothing but moldy spider legs. I said, you guys are lying to me. You just want this banana because you know it's the last one. They said, no, brother, we're not lying. You cut that thing in half and look in the middle. You can still see the black spots where his legs were. <laughs> you know... <clears throat> I did not eat bananas for nearly three years after that. <laughs> they lied to me. <clears throat> have you ever been lied to before? You know, I would not have believed a lie if it hadn't been for those black spots. You see, if you want to get somebody to believe a lie, you have to mix it in with some truth. That's a technique they've used for years to kill rats. They mix two things together. They really don't belong together. They have mixed together in that box good food and rat poison. Actually, a lot of folks don't realize, but rat poison is 99.995% good food. <laughs> There's very little poison in rat poison. But by mixing them together, the rat thinks he's getting free food. Well, yes, but he's getting poisoned. It's the same technique they use to sell Marlboro cigarettes. For years, they've been mixing them in with cowboys. <laughs> Watch any Marlboro commercial. There's something about a cowboy in there someplace, right? Have you ever thought about that? What is the connection between smoke and Marlboro and cowboys? Do all cowboys smoke Marlboro? No. Do you have to smoke Marlboro to be a cowboy? No. If you start smoking Marlboro, do you become a cowboy automatically? <laughs> uh, no. You may smell like a horse, but you are not a cowboy. Okay? <laughs> Actually, it's been proven in laboratory tests that nobody in the world smokes. Nobody smokes. Only the cigarette smokes. The person is the sucker. That's all. <laughs> I think they ought to put the real name on those things. They ought to call them cancerettes, breath rotters, bypass, malignant, phlegm balls, and money suckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> they do the same thing with beer, though. They always try to associate beer with sports. What does beer have to do with sports? They get some big old football player holding his can of Bud Dumber. Or Bud Stupid. <laughs> They call it Bud Weiser. It don't make him any wiser, that's for sure. He's got his Bud Dumber, Miller Low Life, or Dead Dog. But he says, man, you drink this stuff, you'll be a football player. Yeah, right. The Bible says, you drink that stuff, you will wreck your life. Who hath woe? They that tarry long at the wine. The Bible says, don't even look at it when it gets fermented. Habakkuk said, woe to him and give with his neighbor drink. The Bible has a lot to say about this topic. One kid said, what's the matter, Brother Hoven? Don't you like beer? I said, I don't know. I've never tasted it. I'm 51 years old, never had a drop in my life. Well, I had NyQuil a couple times. <laughs> and he said, uh, <clears throat> how do you know you won't like it if you don't try it? I said, son, that's a brilliant way to live. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever laid your head under a semi-truck? <clears throat> <laughs> how do you know you won't like it if you don't try it? <laughs> okay. You don't have to try everything to figure out if it's good or bad, okay? There's other ways to learn. But this mixing of the good and the bad together is exactly what's going on in our science books. Now, folks, I'm not against science. I like science. Matter of fact, we have a science center and dinosaur adventure land, my backyard, five and a half acres of the coolest place on planet Earth, right next to Pensacola Christian Academy, right behind where they produce the Becca books. Some of the kids are telling me they use the Becca books. That's where we're right behind them. We've had 30,000 visitors in the first two and a half years. Everything has a science lesson and a spiritual lesson. We have just some amazing things going on there. We can try our climbing wall or see our seven-foot snake. He ate a kid last week, but uh, oh well. Uh, bacteria model and all kinds of dozens of skins and skulls of animals. If you have any of those things, send them. We'll put them on display. One of our guys shot a T-Rex. We hung it on the front of the building. Uh, <laughs> we like science. We're not against science. Everything has all these cool science lessons. We have a seven-level seven cave crawler. You can try to crawl in there. And uh, try to, Some kids are still in there from a week ago. We can't find them. Uh, our leap of faith swing off the 16-foot tower. Huh. Parents say, isn't that dangerous? We say, well, yeah, but there's a lot of kids, and they're always making more. So, uh. <laughs> You can measure your horsepower if you think you're in pretty good shape. Come on out and see how many horsepower you are. We have all kinds of cool dinosaur stuff every place around. Well, dinosaur adventure land. What do you expect, you know? Uh, we've had people from all over. God's given us an amazing staff. We like science, folks. We're not against science. We dig for fossils, and different people support our ministry from time to time. 
And we have all kinds of homeschool classes on uh, video uh, or DVD. If you want our homeschool classes, teaching all kinds of things. Okay, we do all this. We even have a creation boot camp coming up. Every September, we have a boot camp. If you want to come get booted, or whatever they do at boot camp, uh, September, we're going to teach you how to be a better creation scientist and how to get out and speak on creation. We're going to train some more leaders there this September. We're not against science. We even teach the kids the scientific way to shoot a rubber band. I need two volunteers here, a boy and a girl. There's a boy right there and a girl right there. Come on up here. Let's go. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Daylight's burning. Let's go. Okay, now what's your name? Ashley. Ashley? Is this your husband here? No. What's your name? Stephen. Stephen? Pick out a rubber band. The red one and the yellow one. So I'll get a blue one so it's, we can tell who's shooting the different ones, okay? They're all the same, though. Okay, ladies first. Ashley, see how far you can shoot it out there toward the back? Now, you want to let go of the end that's closest to you. Oh, that's not blonde. That's not blonde. Never mind. Okay, go ahead. Oh, about six rows back. Okay, Stephen? Where did his land? About the same place. Now, I happen to know the scientific way to shoot a rubber band. Are you ready for this? You see the guys in the sound booth back there? Hey, did it make it into the sound booth back there? Oh, right, hit the wall right in front of it. Okay. Now, right about now, you're thinking of a question that has five words in it. See? See? <laughs> How did you do that? Okay. Now, first of all, I need to let you know that I am fully aware of the fact that some kids should not learn how to do some things. <laughs> who's, who's responsible for this one here? Is she safe with this information? Okay. Now, this one I'm really worried about just from looking at him. Who's responsible for this guy right here? Is he safe with this information? Not. Oh, what does she know that I don't know? <laughs> okay, now I want you to notice my fingers do not leave my hand at any time when I do this, okay? That's important, okay? There are two sides to the rubber band. You with me so far? Yeah. Okay. One side represents your flesh, that's your body. The other side is your spirit. Now your flesh and your spirit have to work together or else you're dead. See, if your spirit ever leaves your flesh, you got a real problem on your hands. Actually, the neighbors do, <laughs> but okay. Now, here's what most people do wrong with rubber band shooting and in real life. They put the same emphasis on the flesh and the spirit. And when they let it fly through the air, if you could watch it in slow motion, the flesh and the spirit are fighting with each other all the way. So all the energy is wasted on internal turbulence within the rubber band. It doesn't go very far. So the secret to high-speed velocity through a fluid medium, such as the atmosphere, which offers resistance, is to minimize or eliminate the turbulence. <laughs> if you want it to go farther... You put more emphasis on the spirit and less on the flesh. I'm going to stretch this side tighter. Feel it. One side's tight, one side's loose. So if you let it go quickly, it'll spin through the air. The spirit leads the flesh. Less turbulence, greater distance. So if you really want to go far for the Lord, quit putting so much emphasis on the flesh. It's real simple. Now watch this carefully. Those people coming in late, we're going to nail them. <laughs> Almost got it. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you, thank you. Have a seat. <laughs> That's just one of about 80 science lessons we teach the kids at Dinosaur Adventure Land, along with a good spiritual lesson. The flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. They are contrary one to the other. We also teach the kids how to make a paper airplane that'll fly over 400 feet. Our record is 450 feet with a paper airplane. They go so far that if they don't land on a building or in a tree, they go all the way to the ground. <laughs> it's amazing, brother. You can go on our website, drdino.com, and see how to make those. Folks, we're not against science. We like science. But I'm against the poison mixed in our science books.